Hello and welcome to GeForce. I'm Julian here with Zax and we're going to talk about Minecraft, specifically Minecraft that's going to be incorporating ray tracing technology. Tell me a little bit about how path tracing works in this game and what it brings to it. The difference between Minecraft, as we've always had Minecraft, is that, that we had a very simple lighting model, was super effective, but it wasn't extremely immersive. Ray tracing can model the light accurately, so little changes in materials, little changes in lighting get totally reflected in the game. We always dreamt about like what would Minecraft really look like. We've seen these beautiful renders we do sometimes in ray tracing, but the idea of doing that in real time is something we got really excited about. So in this world that you guys have with realistic ray tracing, what are some of the effects that players will see? You know, lava bricks, light shafts, yeah, yeah. or that sort of thing. There's a lot of things that are like immediately apparent, like the outside changes when the sun rises in the morning, for example, like the light shaft, the form and sort of break through the foliage. It's beautiful. But some of the most subtle things is like we have refraction in the water, so you get like this perfect shimmer effect. Something that's brand new, we have per pixel emissives. So the idea of a single pixel changing, Minecraft is a pretty blocky game. So if you have a pixel, it's pretty big, but in the sense that pixel can be turned into a torch. And the idea of lighting things with that level of precision is something new for us. This game being so massively popular, it also has a big modding community. People love to take it and reshape it. Is ray tracing going to be available to these people as well? Every feature we make is like has two components. It has the component for the core game and a component for creators. This is no different. So the shaders we're making, creators are going to be able to make the exact same shaders and tweak them to their heart's content. They can experiment with HD textures. They can make their own custom shaders and can make looks that were never possible before in Minecraft. That's the journey for us always is like get it out as soon as we have a stable version and then allow our creators to sort of inform like what comes next for it. And then a year from now, I think you're going to see incredibly complicated and never before seen things that will amaze us on the Minecraft team. What do you think ray tracing being adopted by such a widespread and beloved game as Minecraft means? Do you think ray tracing is established as the future of graphical rendering? We would certainly love it to be a part of the future of graphical rendering. It gives you some tools you just haven't had before as a game creator. It makes me excited that we can start playing with light as a character in the game like anything else. We have so much control over each pixel that we just haven't had before. Like the tricks we used before to do accurate lighting are just that, that they're, they're tricks and they, they quickly fall apart as you start stretching it. Minecraft is a game that is day, night, any season, below ground, above ground, and most graphical tricks fall apart if you stretch them that far. Ray tracing, the true advantage is that you can now do real world accurate lighting and now you can actually start modeling a biome. So those differences are palpable. I think that's really important for the art form of games to have access to the full expression. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it actually for myself at my PC at home. Thanks so much, Zax. You're welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in here on GeForce. We've got lots of coverage talking about tons of games with ray tracing. Be sure to subscribe for your chance to win one of those. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at NVIDIA GeForce. Good luck, and we'll see you next time on GeForce.